This is a WCBI First Alert Severe Weather Update. Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. We are tracking severe weather across North Mississippi. We have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. They are scrolling at the bottom of your screen. We are on the air right now, though, for this new tornado warning. This does include Lafayette County, including the city of Oxford and Ole Miss. This goes until 315 for this storm cell right on in here. Let's zoom on in and show you where we do have the rotation. And essentially, uh, just off to the south and uh, due south of downtown Oxford right now. And our distance here, let's just measure this. Here's downtown Oxford, and that is about seven to eight miles right near Taylor in Lafayette County. That's where that rotation is being uh, detected with Doppler radar. So if you have any uh, concerns or interest here in Lafayette County, uh, near Oxford and Point South, really right along Highway 7. Uh, we have a tornado warning now in effect until 315. And again, the storm is racing off to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. So let's do a storm track on this. And uh, you'll be able to see where we are expecting this thing to go northeast at about 40 miles per hour. So this will include these communities you see on your screen. Right over Taylor right now, downstream near Denmark at 312, Lafayette Springs by 319, and Altus Keel right here. Uh, generally, probably just to the southeast of downtown Oxford is where that rotation is likely going to be going. Let's go to our uh, shear rate and show you where we have the best potential for some of that strong wind. Basically, right over Taylor right now. South of Oxford, right along Highway 7, again, moving off to the northeast. So where we are displaying the green, that's where we have the best potential for some damaging wind and maybe even a spin-up tornado here. This is Doppler radar indicated. This is not confirmed. Doppler radar indicated tornado warning that goes until 315 for Lafayette County, including the city of Oxford here. So let's go to our Viper source here and look at downtown Oxford right now. University Drive east of Lamar. You can see folks going about their business here. I think the worst of the weather is likely going to be just southeast of uh, the city of Oxford. But if you do have interest up here at Ole Miss and in Lafayette County, uh, we do have a pretty good storm moving on through. This is the camera for Ole Miss, and you can see it's a very wet and stormy afternoon here. And again, that tornado threat just off to the south of Oxford right now. So we've zoomed on in, and it looks like from Ridgeland down to uh, Marquette, just east of Taylor, right along Highway 7, this is where we have the, the best signature as far as uh, the significant threat right along Highway 328 uh, right now. Let's go back and plot up our velocity, and you can see this couplet right here right along Highway 328, Taylor, Marquette, and Highway 7 uh, right there. So if you live downstream of this or if you know somebody downstream, uh, probably areas right along County Road 418, this is in Lafayette County, uh, south of Highway 6 near Portertown, and uh, south of Altus up here in Lafayette County. And for reference, we do have the uh, city of Oxford, which is right here. So here's Oxford, and this is that circulation center just off to the south. So it's a close call here, and we are continuing to monitor this here very, very quickly here as it spins on up. So I'm going to lapse the last uh, 15 minutes of data, and you can see how uh, the storm developed uh, just to the west of Water Valley. And now we have a little bit of uh, rotation that looks like it's lessening just a little bit here. It's not as uh, vivid as it was, uh, but we are still looking at that circulation somewhere uh, south of Oxford, probably south of Ridgeland, uh, down towards just east of Taylor. All right, let's go ahead and stop this right here. And uh, let's go to our uh, shear and uh, shear rate. It's basically, here's our gate-to-gate -gate shear over the last couple of scans. Basically, uh, near Marquette, 328 Highway 7, and we go to our shear rate, and again, we're getting that best signature for some of those uh, signatures as being uh, the most likely uh, parts of Lafayette County to be affected by this particular uh, situation here. So tornado warning until 315. This does include Oxford, Ridgeland, Marquette, Portertown, Altus, Denmark, these areas east and uh, eventually maybe northeast of the city of Oxford. Let's go back to our radar, and if nothing else, we've got a pretty good storm uh, moving on through the area. Uh, this is the tornado warning that is actually embedded uh, within this big mass of storms, and we actually do have some severe thunderstorm warnings that continue for Yalabusha County until 3 o'clock, and also for uh, Grenada, uh, Wynonna, Grenada County, um, Montgomery County, 
in Carroll County is until 345 because we actually have uh, another batch of storms that arcs back on down from Grenada to Greenwood to Indianola. And all of this is moving closer to our area. And as we've had before, these little lines will bow on out and produced and can produce some very strong gusty winds. So we actually have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings uh, that does include Grenada, Winona, Greenwood, and Carrollton, the southern part of this line. So here's the big picture. You're just tuning on in. It's 257, uh, severe weather coverage for North Mississippi right now. These storms just moving on into our area. Columbus, the Golden Triangle area, we still have several more hours to go before any possible concern with active weather here in our area. As we zoom back into the Lafayette County area and check it out, again, tornado war the tornado warning continues here uh, until uh, 315 for this storm. This is just radar indicated rotation at this point. Let's go back in and see where we actually could see maybe a retightening, if you will, of this particular couplet. Uh, Jay, or Trevor, what do you have over there? Um, Oxford Police Department confirming a tornado on this one. It's going to be right there at the 7 9 split. Um, I assume that's going to be south of Oxford there, but this is a um, tornado sighted now, so we're going to treat this as a confirmed tornado. Um, so as this is coming through south of Oxford, just as a reminder for you, let me show you those tornado okay. safety tips. Uh, it's been a while since we've had to go through this, so just as a reminder, worst place to be in this situation is car or a mobile home. Better place to be, interior room or a basement. The absolute best place is a tornado shelter or a basement. So again, this is a confirmed tornado now, confirmed by the Oxford Police Department, coming through uh, the central portion of Lafayette County and south of Oxford. Keith? Okay, and that's probably down here by uh, the Marquette area right here. So, again, recent um, reports from law enforcement of that potential uh, tornado crossing the highway here. So, let's go back to our storm relative velocity. And most likely, this thing is uh, somewhere down here, southeast of Ridgeland, southeast of Oxford, down here in southeastern Lafayette County, where we have this particular couplet mm -hmm. right here east of the Marquette area east of Highway 7 that's where it looks like this is the best uh, vantage point from radar uh, where we may have that circulation ongoing at this point so let's go to our shear rate and show you uh, yes indeed that's exactly what we're thinking probably uh, east of 7 now right along Highway 334 here in uh, Lafayette County there's Portertown uh, the I think this is uh, delay uh, Cornish Denmark Altus uh, areas east of Marquette, east of Highway 7, southeast of the city of Oxford now. So that looks like um, the circulation is down here, southeast of Oxford in uh, Lafayette County. Again, this warning goes until 315. Uh, let's go ahead and put another storm track on this uh, thing for you as we uh, will just do a, a quick uh, track on this couplet. Again, moving to the northeast about uh, 40 miles per hour. Denmark. By 309, and then it's plotting Cornish here by uh, 307, a little bit sooner than that. We'll come in and show you a few more communities here. Again, uh, this is severe weather coverage. This is Lafayette County, which is uh, technically part of the Memphis television market. Our TV markets overlap here in Lafayette County. And some of you, a lot of you, are concerned about Oxford and Ole Miss and parts of Lafayette County here. So that's why we are wall to wall coverage here on WCBI TV here in Northeast Mississippi. But uh, that circulation uh, somewhere near the Portertown area, 334, Highway 334, uh, area southeast of Oxford. We actually do have some. Um, blinding rain uh, going into the city of Oxford right now. This is a uh, live view there, University Avenue east of Lamar. You can see it is wet. It is uh, very stormy there in Lafayette County right now. And it looks like that will continue to be the case with the, this big batch of storms and showers moving on through. So if nothing else, just uh, slow down and just stay indoors and just refrain from travel until the storm uh, can pass your area here in Lafayette County. The uh, tornado warning is going to continue um, to uh, at least 315 for areas near uh, and southeast of the city of Oxford. Let's go back in and check out our correlation coefficient and see if we can see any debris. Uh, it's clear as mud here. I'm going to scan back a couple of frames here. I know, um, boy, it's, it's very, very noisy here. So, uh, we really aren't looking at a classic blue dot. If we were to see a big blue dot in the center of all of that red right there, 
we would have an indication that uh, there's some significant debris being lofted here. So uh, we don't have that, but we do have the report of a tornado that has been crossing parts of Lafayette County there, right here at the 7-9 split moving off to the east here. So let's go back to our shear rate. And the area is uh, greatly affected here. This is uh, right along Highway 334, uh, Porterton, uh, uh, Yukana, uh, areas uh, south of Altus. This is Highway 6, the main highway there, Highway 6, um, between Highway 6 and 334 in Lafayette County. Again, tornado warning uh, continues until 315 here because of this uh, very heavy cell moving on through. Uh, lots of lightning in this, too. We'll plot that. Uh, vivid lightning being detected with this. You can see it all plotting here, cloud to ground lightning here in parts of Lafayette County. So uh, that is uh, one part of our story here at this point in time. Just to reset the situation, I do want to go and expand uh, things just a little bit. Uh, stretching down to Grenada, Greenwood, Indianola, uh, areas in the southern delta, we have additional strong to severe storms. Grenada County, Montgomery County, Carroll County, you are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 345. And we do have a very heavy batch of storms moving into these areas here, uh, just to the west and northwest of Winona. Uh, but this activity is quickly moving off to the east and northeast too. And this will gradually overspread the area as we go throughout the course of the uh, next few hours here. So that is uh, a look at the big broad picture, but we are on the air right now because we do have uh, this tornado warning that continues for Lafayette County. We'll come back into our Memphis radar. We will turn off the, day, the uh, lightning. A lot of noise there. And let's, let's go back in and check out our, uh, our shear. And this is where we have gate to gate shear. The brighter colors illustrate uh, some faster moving wind in different directions there. So uh, definitely an item of concern. And this is moving right along Highway, uh, and highway 334. It's moving up to uh, the north and east at about 40 miles per hour. So again, it looks like the worst of the weather is going to be staying just to uh, the southeast of the city of Oxford. So uh, if nothing else, if you uh, know folks in Oxford, it looks like they will be avoiding the worst of the weather right now. And we'll zoom on in and show you where we have the greatest color here. Uh, basically, Highway 334 and Highway 6 uh, southeast of the city of Oxford. That's where we have the, the best signature, according to radar, where we still may see uh, rotation that could still produce a tornado right here uh, near Cornish, Denmark, and the Altus community here in Lafayette County. So we've been watching the circulation. Let me turn on our some other uh, sources of uh, shear markers here. We're not really getting um, a lot of extra spinning cones here, lines plotting. So that's certainly good news from a radar perspective. Radar is actually scanning up here about 5,800 feet. So we're actually looking at some elevated rotation here, not necessarily uh, extremely close to the ground. We're about a mile up in the atmosphere. So uh, we are detecting some uh, low level spin about a mile up. That's where the radar beam is at its lowest state here in Lafayette County. So a lot of stuff can happen below uh, the radar beam when it's that high up. So we certainly know we can get things uh, much more sinister uh, below the radar beam there. Um, Trevor, do you have any new information you want to chime on in with? Uh, you've been watching chat room yep. over there. Yeah, no new information. All we have heard so far is that there was a confirmed tornado spotted right at the 7-9 split, and that is just to the south of town. So right there around the Marquette community, all the way south of Oxford. And just as a point of reference, the Ole Miss campus is going to be just to the west of town there in that area. So this tornado, uh, for as long as it was on the ground, looks like it might have passed just between Taylor and Marquette. And now that area of rotation is continuing to lift off to the north and east, just getting ready uh, to pass Highway 278. So if you live between the Altus and the Denmark community, maybe over toward Lafayette Springs, it's your time to take your tornado safety plans. Remember, that is going to be the lowest floor of your room or the building you're in. Uh, get as many walls between you and the outside as possible. And of course, stay away from windows. Uh, rotation still continuing to be evident there on our wind shear product. You see it just now coming in uh, across Highway 334 into the Denmark community and eventually right there between uh, on Highway 278 between Altus and Lafayette Springs. If you're on Highway 278 and you're listening to us uh, on the east side of Oxford, probably not a good idea. You want to pull off the road, 
If you know anybody that's driving, you might want to let them know to find a safe place to be as this storm has a history of producing a tornado. Not sure, uh, no reports of if that tornado is still on the ground, but uh, just about a few minutes ago when it passed that 7-9 split again south of town, uh, the Oxford Police Department confirmed a tornado on the ground with this storm. So we're going to continue to keep a close eye on this. If you have any reports, if you see any damage, of course, send those in to us. Uh, we would love to pass those along to the folks up at the Weather Service in Memphis. But as of right now, that is all the uh, information we have. Tornado warning is going to continue uh, for eastern Lafayette County until 315. So we're going to keep, can, continue uh, to keep a close eye on this one, Keith. Yeah, Trevor, appreciate that. And just a call out for some social media reports. If you have them, if you see something up there in Lafayette County this afternoon or anywhere else in our coverage area later on today into this evening, uh, tag us on Twitter, send us a message on Facebook, also Instagram too, weather at WCBI.com. That's our old fashioned email address here, as we would love to see what you happen to see across our region uh, this afternoon. But as Trevor was just mentioning, Oxford looks to be on the backside of the storm right now. The heaviest activity, all of the reds, the oranges, the purples here east and southeast of Oxford right now in southeastern Lafayette County. That warning goes until 315. We'll come back in and inspect where we still have that couplet. Now keep in mind, uh, those of you watching in New Albany, Faxton, Myrtle, northwestern Pontotoc County, western parts of Union County, you may be um, susceptible you will be susceptible to this storm, but we are watching that circulation right here. Uh, this is the Circulation Center basically crossing uh, Highway 278 right now, east of Oxford, and that is moving up to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. So let's just put a track on this, and that would put it close to uh, New Albany here. You can put it in Myrtle by 339, so uh, shortly thereafter in the New Albany area, assuming the circulation holds together here. So again, we don't have an official tornado warning for Union or Pontotoc counties just as of yet. As of 308, we are still monitoring the storm as it lifts to the northeast at about 40 miles per hour. So uh, just a heads up for you in western Union and Pontotoc counties, northwestern Pontotoc counties, uh, and Western Union, uh, where you may see the storm quickly slip on in here. Let's just animate, and you can see how this thing is still spinning here in eastern and southeastern parts of Lafayette County, moving towards Western Union and northwestern parts of Pontotoc County. So that circulation, if we have it, let me pause this, and we'll zoom back in. That is most likely crossing uh, 278 near Denmark right now. We'll go back into our shear rate here, and this is where, if nothing else, near uh, Denmark and Cornish, uh, just west of La Lafayette Springs, uh, right along the county line, this is where we have the best potential for some wind damage and maybe uh, still that potential for a tornado. So again, law enforcement reporting a few minutes ago, a uh, tornado crossing uh, the Highway 7 there near the Marquette community south of downtown Oxford, and we still have some of this very strong wind potential here in eastern parts of Lafayette County. So again, it looks like the, the worst of the weather now has uh, passed the uh, city of Oxford. We'll go back in there, and you can see what we had was a very heavy burst of rain, and now it looks like things are lightening up here with the uh, particular uh, MDOT camera there uh, just southeast of the square. As we check out our uh, university camera there, uh, things still very wet on the track, but uh, things are not quite as heavy as far as the rain uh, as it was not too long ago. So again, tornado warning continues until 3.15, another five minutes here. It's 3.10 on this Monday afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. We've got Trevor. Uh, Vanessa, we've got Jacob Dickey out in the field, and we'll be checking in with him later on this afternoon. He's trying to intercept some of these storms, and this is just the first warning of the day, and we will likely see some additional severe thunderstorm warnings and maybe some tornado warnings later on today. Uh, but right now, we are tracking this particular storm near Denmark, Lafayette Springs, the Dogtown community, uh, west of Thaxton, and southwest of Darden and Enterprise in Union County. And you can see this big, huge mass. We have uh, very heavy rain, some gusty breezes, lots of lightning in this. And uh, keep in mind, we all are under a tornado watch here in northeast Mississippi that goes until 9 o'clock tonight. So some of you, Carroll, Montgomery, Atala, Grenada counties, uh, you were under a watch until 6. We've expanded it now 
for all of northeast Mississippi. That goes until 9 o'clock tonight. And we'll likely get another watch issued at some point for West Alabama. But I think the overall severe weather threat for us here in our coverage area will be between now and 9 o'clock, including West Alabama, too. So uh, that's the way things are looking here uh, locally. Uh, Trevor, I'm going to send it back over to you for maybe a, a broader update on things. Yeah, I just want to show everybody, as you were mentioning, this severe weather threat is going to continue into the afternoon and evening. We have had that one tornado warning there in Lafayette County. You can see it blinking. But this severe weather is going to continue all the way back, all the way into Texas. We've got a few tornado warnings right there in southern Mississippi. We've had some close to the Jackson metro area. Area earlier today. So, this area here south of Columbus and even into our area is still primed for some severe weather. So, just because this is starting to come through the northern portion of our area does not mean this is over. This is something we're going to be dealing with through the evening and keeping a close eye on. This line of storms continuing to push through as it does so could continue to pose the threat for some damaging winds, some small hail in spots, and like we saw earlier uh, just south of Oxford, the potential for a tornado as this and line Trevor, comes through. Just speaking of that, you know, we got a new extension on that warning. Okay. So we will uh, just break in real quick here and let you know that we have an extension on the tornado warning that is uh, going to go until 345. This does now include southwestern Union County and northwestern Pontotoc County. This does not include New Albany or Pontotoc, but uh, these areas outlined in this new uh, polygon right here. We have uh, radar indicated rotation near Denmark right along Highway 278, and that is lifting to the uh, Northeast now at 25 miles per hour. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to do another storm track on this for you, and we'll be able to get a better handle on where this is headed. So northeast at about 25 miles per hour, and that's going to take it near Denmark. Again, right now, Lafayette Springs 320. Basically need to be in your safety zone. Esperanza 333, Rocky Ford 339, and also uh, Hortontown there in uh, uh, Let's see, uh, that's most likely in southwestern uh, Union County at 343. Oh, it's right here in northwestern Pontotoc County until 343. We can also assume, let's just say, Etta, Enterprise, Bald Hill, uh, Darden in southwestern parts of Union County. Also about the same time frame here. So, again, that's the latest storm track. Again, 314 on this Monday afternoon, we have some radar indicated rotation. This is radar indicated, some gusty wind, maybe even a little bit of small hail in this. Um, but let me pop on our hail radar. Not a lot. Heavy rain, lightning, gusty breezes, and a chance for uh, one of these uh, maybe brief tornadoes uh, if we're going to get it. Uh, looks like this particular situation would include more like a... Uh, um, a brief tornado or something um, to that respect, just looking at uh, the radar imagery at this point. So we're using the Memphis radar. Let me swap on over to our Columbus radar and see. Okay, so we're going to go with our Columbus radar now. It's a little bit uh, better um, handle on this, it looks. Uh, looks like it. And we're getting a couple of different things here. We're getting these circulation cones here. Uh, this shows where we have some uh, velocity spinning uh, in the atmosphere, some different wind uh, in different directions, different speeds. So when we plot those cones, obviously an item of concern. And we'll turn those off here. And we're getting a couple of these different lines. Um, this area near Denmark, we're getting a BTI value of 3.8. So I think, Trevor, if you want, you can bring up that BTI explainer graphic yep. real quick, and we can explain what that means. But that's on a scale of 0 to 10. So, Trevor, just explain real quickly what that means. Yeah, so the Barron Tornado Index, as Keith mentioned, is a uh, level from 0 to 10 of what the radar thinks is the potential of a tornado occurring. And as you can see, the higher the number, the more likely we are seeing a tornado. So right now, we're at a 3.2, I believe, uh, and w that would be in a low chance. But as we know, this storm has a history of producing tornadoes. A, con a confirmed tornado was sighted just south of Oxford, and that's the same storm. So even though the radar is only at a three on this, that is still a good chance that we could see some rotation in the atmosphere and that could lead to a tornado on the ground. So right now, 
There may not be a tornado on the ground. There certainly could be, though, but the threat is there, and it is an imminent threat uh, that we will see uh, a possible tornado spin up on this. And as, as Keith mentioned, uh, these rotating circles here, that's another thing that the radar is indicating uh, of some rotation. That's right there near the Denmark community, as I mentioned, crossing over Highway 278, and that is going to put it uh, into Union County here in the next little bit. So in Myrtle by 334, New Albany, you're going to need to keep your head up by 335. You're not currently under the tornado warning, but that's when that storm is going to be in your area. We've got some more communities here for you. Friendship by 334, Lafayette Springs uh, just in a few minutes at 319. New Albany now at 340 and eventually into Sherman if it holds together by 347. So as I mentioned, uh, tornado warning is going to continue on this one uh, for eastern Lafayette and western Union counties until 345 as we've had a history of this storm producing tornadoes. Right now, rotation threat continuing. Uh, let me get some of this off here so we can get a better view here. Looks like the best rotation right now is going to be right in there, just north of the Lafayette Springs community. And of course, that is going to eventually take it into Union County. So just as another uh, reminder for you, your tornado safe places, if you're in that red polygon, this is what you need to do. The worst place to be during these situations is in a car or a mobile home, also under a highway overpass. That's not doing you any help. It's actually speeding up the wind. So do not hide under an overpass. Pretty bad. Also, a large room like a warehouse store or, or a grocery store. A better option is going to be an interior room such as a bathroom or a closet. A basement, even better inside a well-built building. But the absolute best option is a tornado safe room or a basement. And a lot of communities in our area have their own tornado safe room. We have a list of those on our website at wcbi.com safety. And you can find uh, the nearest one there. A lot of those have opened uh, with the tornado watch being in effect. So if you do not have a safe place to go, if you're in a mobile home or you just don't have a place to be that is definitely an option for you there. But we're going to continue to keep an eye on this rotation now, just coming into the Esperanza community and could be eventually making its way into central Union County and into New Albany. So, uh, latest update on that BTI looks like it's still going to be a 3.8. So, that's going to be on the high end of that low scale. Uh, but we're still going to keep a very close eye on this. Uh, there's that BTI over there of 3.8. Moving off to the east northeast at about 55 miles an hour. So, there's your list of communities again, New Albany. Albany looking like 340 uh, to 342 for you. So no tornado warning right now for New Albany, but it's continuing in that general direction. So you might want to keep your head up uh, and just keep that in mind as this continues to make it in your direction. Keith. Appreciate the information there, Trevor. And also stretching down from that little worn couplet you were just talking about down into western part of Pontotoc County, just southwest of Faxton, and that stretches just to the north of Bruce. Uh, that's a very strong wind potential here, and now we have a new severe thunderstorm warning for areas just south of that circulation. That goes until 345, so it looks like we have some pretty good wind potential here. Uh, just moving to the west of Springville, northwest of Randolph, uh, near Thaxton, right along Highway 9 right here. Uh, that stretches that way. Uh, this is 334, 278. These areas now uh, east of the Lafayette Pontotoc County line. Uh, that circulation center that we are most concerned about for the tornado is actually just to the northeast of Denmark, moving into parts of southwestern parts of Union County. So a couple of different things here. We have this tornado warning that goes until 345. Mm -hmm. We also have this severe thunderstorm warning that goes until 345. Uh, getting um, no significant damage reports of wind uh, concern as of yet here in North Mississippi. Uh, but if you do have any reports, we'd love to know about it here at WCBI. Uh, call our newsroom or uh, email us, uh, tweet at us, give us some reports of what you're seeing out here uh, in these areas. So uh, right now we are watching the potential for uh, strong damaging wind moving towards Pontotoc and also uh, that circulation there uh, near the uh, areas uh, east and northeast of Denmark in uh, Lafayette County. So here's the radar perspective. This is what's going on. We've got a big mass of storms that stretches from Corinth down to just west of New Albany, the stuff we've been talking about. Still have a uh, small little sliver of a severe, a severe thunderstorm warning until 345. Uh, this goes until uh, that point for eastern Grenada County. So I uh, just wanted to give you a little heads up on that. Uh, from Grenada to Winona to Greenwood down to the southwest, we have uh, some heavier storms that will be continuing to move into the western counties of our area here as we go throughout the course of the afternoon. So if you're watching across our southeastern areas where we may not have any rain whatsoever, the storms are out there and they're coming our way. And right now they're really most concentrated across the northwestern counties 
of our coverage area. So uh, just a heads up here again, uh, tornado warning, severe thunderstorm warning. Let's go back in and check out our shear rate. Uh, this is going to show you, let me swap over to our Columbus radar and we'll pop that bad boy back up. And you can see uh, we're really looking at some um, good wind signatures here in western Pontotoc County and southwestern Union County here. And this could cause some power outages, some trees could come on down, and uh, we may be looking at um, some concerns in that part of our area for sure. So, um, okay, I think we have Jacob on. Go ahead, just, just shout out to me. Do we have Jacob on available? Yeah, we have uh, okay, let, do, is, uh, let's go to Jacob's feed. Um, can he talk? Okay, Jacob, take it away. sitting south of that severe thunderstorm warning for northern Montgomery and eastern Grenada counties. As we're watching now, some of these showers and storms are now coming on in. We've got quite a bit of lightning in Minota. Just took a strike to our left by maybe no more than a couple hundred yards. And these storms have a lot of lightning with them, a lot of heavy rain as well. And we'll continue to watch them here. So far, again, just that one tornado worn storm off to the north and east of Oxford, uh, heading towards New Albany. But still, severe thunderstorm warnings can pack a punch with them. We encourage you to still take some uh, shelter and be weather aware as damaging straight lines can still cause some damage in areas, and so we want to be sure you're aware of that. A couple of things, a great way to stay connected is the WCBI mobile app. We've got severe weather now in some areas. Other folks, though, are clear for now, but we anticipate that threat to continue on to these. As always, we'll be reporting out here in the field all afternoon and evening long. Reporting in Venona, I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. We'll send it back to you. All right, Jacob, I appreciate the information there, and we'll be uh, coming back to you when we get some uh, uh, new information, and uh, let's go back to our radar situation right now. The radar is very busy here in western Pontotoc County. We have a lot of lines going on here. Real quick, uh, this still has that BTI value of 3.8. We're getting rotation being detected near Thaxton. Uh, downstream here, we're, uh, let me plot this again. Uh, Possum Trot 326, Ecru 329, Sherman 338, and uh, Beach Springs by 344, assuming it holds together here. So uh, let me clear some of this data off. I know it's, it's very, very busy. We'll turn some of those lines off. And let's go back to our um, shear rate, which really has a good handle on where we probably have the strongest wind. And I'm going to turn that little cone off. So uh, right now we are looking at most likely some very strong wind from Esperanza to Buchanan to Possum Trot, Springville, Randolph, uh, these areas in western Pontotoc County, you can see how bright and vivid that is, uh, especially this little southern part of it. And that's where we may see some very strong straight line wind. Let's just go to our velocity data and look at how this is kicking on out. So the way this works is that we have, um, we have wind going in different directions here. So we have all of this wind coming in towards the radar site. We've got wind going away from the radar site here. So we've got some spinning motion here. We probably have a pretty good uh, downdraft coming in, um, some straight line winds coming towards Pontotoc right now. So if you're in the Pontotoc area, you are not tornado warned, you are severe thunderstorm warned. And that means we may see some wind gusts up to about 60 miles per hour. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and query some of this and just see how strong some of this wind is aloft. So we're looking at wind aloft that is possibly coming down towards Pontotoc that could be over 60 miles per hour here, folks. And that could cause some power outages, some trees to come on down, and uh, some roof damage. So you don't want to be out in that environment. You want to be in a sturdy shelter as the storm comes on in. To those of you in Ecru, Pontotoc, Algoma, Randolph, these areas here in central and western parts of Pontotoc County. Now the tornado warning is for uh, these areas uh, just to uh, the north of Esperanza, I would say, somewhere up in here. If we're going to get a tornado, it's going to be somewhere up here uh, between Enterprise and Esperanza, right along Highway 335, it looks like, uh, just around the Flatwood community right here. Uh, we've got that red and green uh, pixel side-by-side -side right there. Uh, that's probably the best-looking thing for any uh, tornado potential at this point, and that uh, gives credence to this tornado warning that continues until 3.45 uh, this afternoon. So we've got wind potential coming in the Pontotoc. We've got what looks to be a little tight couplet going on here 
in uh, southwestern Union County. And again, all of this is moving to the northeast. Something that we'll be watching as we go throughout the uh, next uh, couple of minutes here. So the circulation about uh, 25 mile per hour speed, that's going to take it near New Albany by 351. Let's go over to Trevor. He's got uh, I-22 pulled on up and we'll yep. just see what's happening out there. Yeah, this is right there at the Blue Springs exit, looking off to the west on I-22, and you can see not much traffic out there, and that's certainly a good thing to see. Uh, this is looking back towards New Albany as this storm approaches, uh, and as Keith was mentioning, not only do we have uh, that rotation there, but we've also got some very strong winds uh, just about to come through the central portion of Pontotoc County and in to Pontotoc. So there's Blue Springs right here in this area. This is eventually going to be making its way up here, so heads up to you. Uh, if we do not not have a tornado in that area. Certainly very strong winds, very heavy rain in this. Wouldn't be shocked to see a little bit of hail with as strong as these returns are right there over Highway 278. But we are continuing uh, to monitor the potential here right where these reds and greens are coming together between Esperanza and Flatwood right there on the Pontotoc Union County line. I would say that's our best chance of seeing a tornado spin up and that's pushing off to the east northeast in the general direction of New Albany. So once again, no tornado warning currently in effect for New Albany proper, but the western portion of Union and the extreme northwestern portion of Pontotoc County is under that tornado warning. So it's looking that like that might be broadening out just a little bit, but either way, uh, still don't want to be outside in all this mess. Very strong winds, uh, especially in that line there, just getting ready uh, to come through Pontotoc. So again, tornado warning is going to continue. I expect that will probably be allowed to expire just a little bit early. They've got it until 345, but as you can see, it's really starting to push out of that box. A severe thunderstorm storm warning down to the south. I guarantee you that's probably going to continue. That's going to go until 345 for a good chunk of Pontotoc County, northern Calhoun County, portions of Lafayette County, and this line will eventually be making its way toward Tupelo. So Tupelo heads up in the next 45 minutes to an hour or so. You could be seeing some heavy rain and wind as well. So a very active day all across the southeast. I think Keith's got more on that. What are you seeing? Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Trevor, things are just perking on up here across the deep south. We've got the enhanced satellite. I just want to show you this. Uh, the brighter colors illustrate the taller cloud top. So when we see the oranges, the yellows, even the reds showing on up, that means the clouds are taller. The cloud tops are colder because they are taller. And that means we have some stronger storms. And some of those storms are capable of producing hail, damaging wind, and the tornado potential. So we've got big blotches of color across all of Mississippi, northeastern Louisiana, big tall clouds going on up here across our region. We also have extremely warm temperatures here locally. Now we have a front coming on into the region and just check this out. We are well into the low to mid 70s here. Some spots upper 70s to around 80 degrees across parts of eastern Mississippi, western Alabama. You get up to Memphis and Arkansas. We're talking 30s and low 40s and this clash of the ear masses right here is really giving rise to a concern. So, uh, Trevor, take it away. Uh, Keith, we've got a brand new tornado warning. This is going to go for Pontotoc and Union Counties. It's just the extreme northern sliver of Pontotoc County. You see it from that Nixon community up to the north and the southern portion of, Ooh. or I should say the central portion of Union County. New Albany, you are now under a tornado warning. So, that rotation area that we were looking at earlier right there along uh, that county line of Pontotoc and Union, They've now extended that tornado warning, so that's will include nearly all of Union County and the northern portion of Pontotoc County. So let me get uh, this latest track on it for you, moving to the northeast at about 50 miles an hour. And I'm just going to do a general track on this because there, there are some areas of rotation that could really uh, switch around a little bit. So we don't want to pick one area to track. But in general, New Albany, as we've been mentioning, about 340. But now is the time. You need to get in your tornado safe place. I'll show you those in just a moment. Uh, the Graves community, this is going to be near you around 348. Lebanon by 355 and Bethany by 353. So again, uh, just repeating, new tornado warning now in effect for Pontotoc and Union Counties. This is going to go until 4 p.m., including uh, the city of New Albany. Uh, a good stretch of Interstate 22 between Myrtle and New Albany and down nearly into Lee County. So make sure nobody's driving on I-22. We don't want anybody out there in all this mess. Uh, but again, even with the embedded areas of rotation, still a monster storm coming through. Plenty of rain, very heavy rain, and lots of lightning in there. Uh, but obviously our big concern 
concern right now is the tornado warning. So if you're under that tornado warning, once again, worst place to be is in your car or under a highway overpass. We really want you in an interior room or a basement. Uh, that's going to be like a closet or a bathroom with no windows. The absolute best place to be is going to be your tornado shelter or safe room. And as I mentioned, we've got a list of tornado safe places on our website at wcbi.com slash safety. Hey, uh, Trevor, appreciate the information mm -hmm. there. We'll go back to the radar in just a uh, quick second. This is I-22 at the Toyota plant, Blue Springs. Uh, we are looking south towards that incoming storm. So we will keep monitoring this, and we'll see how things evolve as we go throughout the next couple of minutes as that storm approaches. But right now, uh, things tame at the Toyota plant uh, right along 22, but we are going to that camera right here, by the way. So just for reference here, uh, that camera basically right here we were looking south and probably need to move it west um, the item of concern really that Trevor was just talking about near Ecru in um, right along the Pontotoc Union County line it seems to be where we would probably have the the best chance for a tornado although the way this is arcing out like this you can get a spin up just about every one of these uh, little kinks in the line but uh, southeast of Bald Hill uh, seems to be the most likely culprit. Uh, there's Highway 15. Uh, there's Cairo Loop Road right here, just to the north of Ecru. Uh, this is where we think that we probably have the, the best potential for uh, some rotation. If nothing else, a very strong wind, but there is a the potential for some rotation here uh, from Bald Hill to Ecru, somewhere up in here. There's Ingomar uh, for reference as well. So, again, we are watching the storm uh, this afternoon, and uh, from a radar perspective, you just see a big blotch of red and purple and yellows, but uh, we can go into uh, the radar velocity mode and see where the winds are going in different directions here. So uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting to see the, the, the winds coming this way and then the winds going this way, so opposite directions here, uh, just to the north of Ecru, right along the county line. And let me just draw that county line right here. Uh, that county line is... Uh, essentially this line right here. So Pontotoc County and Union County, this circulation center right along the county line near Highway 15. And this is south of New Albany, about seven miles or so. So uh, south of uh, New Albany and west of Blue Springs, about seven miles too. So somewhere out here, uh, if we're going to get a tornado circulation, uh, this is where most likely, according to the radar imagery, uh, this is where we would expect it at this point. So let's go back to our shear rate. So we've got that item of concern. We also have most likely some strong straight line wind blowing that had just been blowing through Pontotoc, stretching from Oak Hill to Nixon, east of Pontotoc, down towards Algoma right here. And let's go back and correlate that with our velocity here. So this arc is likely producing some very strong wind as it bows on out. And as we just query some of these values here above the surface, 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And this is, uh, let me just look real quick. This is about um, 3,000 feet above the surface. So some of that likely coming on down. And that is why we have this severe thunderstorm warning that continues for Pontotoc County until 345. But uh, we have a whole a uh, mess of things going on across our region. So uh, let me go back to our uh, shear rate. This really cleans the clutter up a little bit. We'll get rid of some of these boxes. And you can see from New Albany to East of Pontotoc, uh, this line, this arc of green. And, uh, you know, this is the, the strong wind that we have moving through our region right now. Let's go back to our... Um, let's actually go up to Viper real quick. And again, uh, I-22 at uh, the Toyota plant in Blue Springs. And what I'm going to do is uh, go back to our radar real quick. Where it looks like we may be getting an update. You saw some lightning flashing right there. We have some vivid lightning across our region here today as well. So let me pop that back on. Lots and lots of lightning uh, in this particular view. Um, these are just the cloud to ground strikes. The tornado warning is being modified just a little bit. Uh, it continues for Pontotoc and Union counties until 345. Uh, the possible tornado located near Ecru uh, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Just as we were talking about not too long ago, uh, that circulation center uh, somewhere near the city of Ecru. And most likely, I still think it's got to be like right up in here. 
um, north of Ekru, near Beacon Hill, somewhere, let me zoom in a little bit tighter here, folks, so you can see this. So we're coming on down to street level. Uh, this would be right around County Road 101, Union County Road 101, uh, County Road 107, County Road 113, somewhere up in here southwest of Beacon Hill, and this is Interstate 22 uh, right here. So uh, just south of I-22 uh, and near Highway 15, this is where that best circulation center um, could be uh, developing at this point. So uh, again, it's not touching. It's not like a uh, vivid green, vivid red pixel side by side, but there is some circulation here. And this is why we have this tornado warning that continues until 345. So uh, it doesn't look to be as impressive as it was a few scans ago, but it is certainly an item of interest. And actually, let's go and show you the swath of this complex of storms. And you can see how this really goes back out towards the delta as we've gone throughout the last hour or so as this has been moving on through. And really over the last couple of scans, um, We've had some more interesting velocity um, rates here. That would be faster wind speeds and maybe some rotation um, with this storm. And that is why we're getting more of the reds uh, showing up on that particular product. But we still have what looks to be um, the circulation just to the south of New Albany near Beacon Hill. Um, there's the interstate. So heads up for you in Wallerville, Mound City. Union County right here. It looks like the circulation is going to be just off to the southeast of New Albany. And again, if you are watching from uh, any of these areas here in Union County right now, uh, Mound City, Reese Parks, um, there's the Ellistown community. Uh, watch out for this. This is a circulation that we are watching. Tornado warning continues until 345. Trevor, let's go over to you for another update. Yeah, Keith, it looks like this thing is crossing I-22 right now. Whatever this is, we don't know if it's on the ground for sure, but definitely a staunch sign of some rotation. And just to get your bearings, I've marked down, and it looks like the bug is blocking it just a little bit. So let me move that up for you just a little bit so we can get a better idea of what's going on. Uh, so right here is uh, the plant right there in Blue Springs, and this is about five miles to the north and west of that. It's crossing uh, right around Beacon Hill. This is to the south and east of New Albany. So this is right there in that really wooded area where if you you're driving east into Tupelo. It's lots of trees, lots of woods, and then you break out into that open area just as you're getting into Blue Springs and into Lee County. So this is going to be just to the south and east of New Albany, as Keith mentioned, coming into Wallerville, Mound City, and eventually into the community of Parks here in the next little bit. So if you are in this area, uh, be sure to be in your tornado safe place at this time. Uh, we do not know if this is a confirmed tornado at this point, but this storm has a history of producing tornadoes, and uh, it looks Looks like uh, it could be trying to do so once again. As you can see, uh, just for reference, these two different colors here, we're looking at the winds in the storm. So one is going toward Columbus, one is going away from Columbus at the radar site. So whenever you see those close together like that right in Beacon Hill, that is where we are looking at some signs of rotation. So as this continues to move off to the north and the east, like I mentioned right now, Wallerville, Mound City, this is coming through your area right now. It's going to follow uh, that crossing just Highway 348 and coming up uh, County Road 1. 121, like I mentioned, into that parks community. So everyone in this area, you need to be in your tornado safe place at this time. It looks like this area of rotation has just now crossed Interstate 22. Heavy rain continuing on I-22 from New Albany all the way down into Sherman, a pocket of some heavier rain in northern Pontotoc County as these storms roll through. But once again, tornado warning is going to continue for this area until 4 p.m., including the city of New Albany, eastern Union County, and the extreme northern portion of Pontotoc County once again until 4 o'clock. Keith. And speaking of that wind, we go to our uh, MDOT camera. There you can see it in the box. It's at Blue Springs. We're looking west along I-22, and things are bobbing up and down there. We're probably getting that little gust front to push on out of it. Uh, let me bring up that source here full screen. And, uh, again, this is just uh, what you don't really want to drive into. So those of you in, let's say, Tupelo, if you don't have to travel anywhere for the next uh, 30 minutes or so, 45 minutes, just... Hold tight. Let this complex of storms move through. Uh, this, if nothing else, will produce some very strong wind, vivid lightning, and some blinding rain. And you just don't want to be driving into it. So that's a live view here. I-22 looking uh, back to the west in uh, Blue Springs, just north of the Toyota plant. So this is why 
Um, we are uh, looking at just some horrible travel conditions here uh, with these storms moving on through. We will continue to monitor that. I've got a video feed up on my side. And then we can see now it looks like we have this really tight near Mound City and Wallerville. We actually have these pixels side by side here. So uh, this is uh, pretty close together here right over Water or Wallerville. This is County Road 278, County Road 218, and downstream Highway 348. Uh, so we have some green and red together here, very, very tight. This is just east of I-22 in Union County, and it looks like we are um, possibly seeing this thing get a little bit more organized here. Looks like Joey Barnes is here with a quick update. Yeah, Keith, uh, I won't stay off camera, but just to give you some good news here, I just spoke with Union County Sheriff Jimmy Edwards. Thus far, no damage reported in Union County. Haven't been able to get anything out of Lafayette County, but I have uh, been monitoring uh, social media. Haven't seen anything, any damage reports coming out of uh, Lafayette County. So just passing on some uh, hopefully good news. Hopefully it stays that way. Definitely. All right, Joey, appreciate it. Stay with the reports there. We will uh, hope that we don't get any reports, and that's what we, we strive for in these kind of events, that we don't see any particular reports. But uh, we have a lot of uh, green and red together here uh, with our radar um, products showing uh, just east of 22 near Wallerville. So there's some pretty good indication that we are getting some uh, potential damaging wind with this, and there's our updated scan and maybe trying to spin up one of these tornadoes right along Highway 348, County Road 252 in New Albany, basically right over Mound City over the last scan. This is 342. The tornado warning continues. Um, so just a heads up here, meshed in with all of this stuff, we actually have some rotation. And uh, National Weather Service in Memphis issuing a uh, new severe thunderstorm warning that will encompass a good chunk of this area here, and that's going to go until 4:30. So, the uh, tornado warning um, goes until 4 o'clock. Uh, but it looks like we're going to get a new severe thunderstorm warning that's going to really encompass a good chunk of uh, these areas that are dealing with the strong wind, uh, the strong wind potential, basically from Lee County all the way down into parts of. Let me zoom back out here. You can see this this flashing area. So Lee County, Itawamba County, Monroe, Chickasaw, Calhoun County, Pontotoc County. This is that new severe thunderstorm warning until 430. So just broad brushing this entire region, including the city of Tupelo, for some strong damaging wind potential. All of this is coming your way. So heads up here. Let's go um, check things out with our Alpha Insurance camera in downtown Tupelo. We're looking back to the west, southwest. Uh, things look very festive here at Fair Park. We've got the holiday lights and the trees up. Uh, but the storms are coming your way, and things will get worse before they get better, at least as far as downtown Tupelo is concerned at the moment. Things have improved a little bit in Oxford, and Ole Miss things are settling down. You are on the back side of the situation, and that's certainly good news for those of you in Lafayette County. So we do have uh, a big mess of things going on. A quick little Skycam tour. Again, nothing happening in the Columbus area at this point. Uh, we will continue to watch things as they unfold around here and also down towards Louisville. We're just waiting in the, the wings here, if you will, waiting for the storms to move on through. Trevor, uh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, just a little bit of good news uh, continuing with what Joey said. The tornado warning for Pontotoc County has been canceled. Uh, so the northern portion of Pontotoc County, you are now all clear with the exception of that damaging wind and heavy rain that's rolling through. The tornado threat is over for Pontotoc County, but that tornado warning is going to continue for the eastern portion of Union County until 4 o'clock. Okay, yes, and that, that storm was located uh, near New Harmony and, or basically uh, just to the east of uh, um, New Albany. They're moving to the uh, northeast at 50 miles per hour here. So that tornado warning is going to continue. Uh, just a, a lot of active weather here. Just plan at some point between now and uh, early to mid-evening, regardless of where you're, you're located in North Mississippi and West Alabama, you will have storms, maybe some heavy rain, gusty breezes and even that severe weather potential, strong damaging wind and even that isolated tornado threat. So let's zoom back on in uh, where we do have uh, the uh, situation developing here in Union County and let's toggle on our shear rate. So uh, again, the tornado warning continues until four o'clock as we just mentioned and somewhere near Parks and Ellistown, somewhere here along Highway 348, uh, this is where we have the best signature 
of rotation potential at this point. So let's go back into our velocity, and there it is, near Parks, County Road 171, County Road 180, right here. We've got green and red very, very tight here on radar, and it's, uh, it's something that still the Doppler radar indicated, but it could become human eye detected here very, very soon if it just uh, continues to hold its own. So uh, that is why we are on the air here. Uh, tornado warning continues until 4 o'clock for Union County. Uh, that circulation center uh, just to the uh, north and east of, or east of New Albany, north of Blue Springs, near the Parks community. And this is moving uh, east, northeast at about 50 miles per hour. So let's do another storm track on this. About 50. And that's going to take it uh, in pretty good clip. Um, the Graham community right here. And we've got Jericho. We've got the Lebanon um, community here. If it does hold together, maybe uh, Boonville by 411 and areas uh, in Prentice County sometime um, sooner than 4 o'clock. So uh, just a heads up here, Lebanon, Geeville, uh, Blackland, Frankstown, these areas. It seems like we always talk about some of these communities for some of these storms. Um, that is moving up to the northeast and will likely get into parts of Prentice County here uh, sometime by 4 o'clock. It's 347 right now. So that couplet right there between Parks and Alpine uh, moving quickly. So heads up for those of you in Graham, Halltown, Alpine communities in northeastern Union and maybe areas from Bethany to uh, Frankstown and West in Prentice County as we get into the 4 o'clock hour. So uh, we're watching that and also can't forget that we remain under this um, damaging wind threat that goes all the way down uh, just west of Tupelo and basically moving through Belden right now. This has been moving through Pontotoc County and this stretch stretches all the way down to uh, Holka, northwest of Houston. So. We're watching all of this, and it looks like we have some additional counties added to the tornado watch. So things keep snowballing here this afternoon, Trevor. Yeah, that's right, Keith. We have a couple of additions. Uh, we told you before the entire uh, the entirety of our Mississippi counties have been added under that tornado watch. That's going to go from Mississippi until 9 p.m., but all of our Alabama counties, Pickens, Fayette, Lamar, and Marion, have now been added to this tornado warning until 11 p.m. So everybody now under a, our tornado watch, I should say, tornado watch in effect for the entire viewing area, some of us until 9 p.m., some of us until 11 p.m. So obviously a developing situation. We've still got this strong storm coming into the northern portion of Union County. Looks like that rotation might be trying to tighten up just a little bit as it comes into the Halltown community and that extreme northern northeastern portion of Union County. That would then take it into Prentice County which is not under a tornado warning right at this moment. But obviously that's something we need to start to think of uh, as this rotation continues. The National Weather Service could certainly put portions of Prentice County under a tornado warning if it continues to look like this over the next few minutes. So on that shear rate prod, uh, product, we'll show you once again. Uh, this is uh, what we're looking at for more of the strong wind threat, but this area up here is what we're looking at for the potential of some rotation. So as I mentioned, coming into Halltown right now and, and to Graham, and this is Highway 30 right here. So eventually crossing Highway 30 going into Prentice County. Uh, just uh, as an FYI for you, the BTI on this storm is now now a seven. Uh, we told you earlier, obviously a seven is something we, we really start to look at and be a little concerned about uh, with this rotation. Earlier it was a 3.8 and that is now a seven and that's a scale out of 10. So this radar is really thinking uh, that this storm could be producing a tornado if it's not already. So we want to take this one a little more seriously uh, as it pushes into uh, Prentice County, I should say. This is something that Highway 45 will need to look out for north of Tupelo. And once again, I want, to, want you to keep in mind, uh, we told you earlier that BTI now of a seven, and that's saying that a tornado is getting, in, uh, getting into the higher ranges of a possibility. So we're going to call this a tornado possible, but right on the line of a tornado being probable. And that means there's probably a tornado in there. So we're right here between these right now. This is something we're going to continue to keep a very close eye on uh, with that high of a value. Uh, you don't see that much too often, and this would take it into Boonville here in the next little bit. 406 is what this radar is saying uh, for Boonville, eventually into Blythe Chapel by 410 and into Synagogue by 411. Trevor, we're getting a new tornado warning. This okay. is for um, 
Other parts of Itawamba, Lee, Prentice, and Union Counties, that goes until 415. Uh, we'll go back to the radar in a quick second. Uh, this is a live view with our Alpha Insurance camera in downtown Tupelo. There's a spooky looking shelf cloud moving on through, or outflow boundary, I guess you could say, and not necessarily a shelf cloud, but I just uh, want to show you this, and some vivid lightning here uh, showing on up. So I'm going to uh, move our camera around if I can. Hopefully I can. And hopefully you'll be able to see uh, some of these images here. Um, just very ominous. This is the, the leading edge of the activity as it comes out in the Tupelo. So with this could come some damaging wind and then some very heavy rainfall. All right, let's go back to this uh, uh, tornado warning situation. And National Weather Service in Memphis uh, really just broad brushing a gigantic tornado warning here. Um, for areas northern Lee County, southern Prentice, Itawamba, for this cluster of uh, uh, wind and uh, rotation here being sensed near Blair, which is right along Highway um, 348 west of Guntown. Uh, this is where we have uh, the signature where we may see a tornado. Again, this is uh, radar indicated. Let's go check out our velocity product here. And there it is, that circulation uh, near Blair, County Road 407, County Road 503. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the updated scan, County Road 601 right here. So near Blair and crossing Highway 348 is that circulation center. That is moving up towards Baldwin. So if you are in Baldwin, you need to be in your tornado safe zone. You know where that is. Basement, storm shelters, interior rooms away from window. And we should also mention, uh, just looking at this, um, there's that couplet, and we also have this thing up here uh, near Halltown, just northeast of Alpine. So it looks like, according to this particular radar imagery, uh, there could actually be uh, this couplet near Blair, and there could be something happening up here in northeastern parts of Union County, uh, northeast of the Alpine community. So there could be two circulations here uh, that are trying to spin on up. So uh, suffice to say, this is a feisty situation developing here as far as the storms. And we have wind, we have rain, we have a couple of circulations showing on up. Let's go back to our shear rate. And uh, by far the strongest one is down here by Blair. Can't discount that artifact there on radar near the Alpine community. So a couple of areas of rotation being detected at this point in time. And these are moving quickly um, uh, to the north and east at about 50 miles per hour. And uh, the Weather Service in Memphis just uh, in our chat room picking out what we just showed you here. Uh, two distinct areas of rotation here. This one uh, near Halltown and this other one near Blair. Both of these moving up to the northeast. So uh, just a heads up. For those of you in Frankstown, let's just say Boonville to Frankstown to Baldwin to Guntown, you just need to be in your tornado safe zone right now. We have two circulation centers here uh, trying to spin on up, and we are going to continue to follow this as it continues to move across our region here. So let's come in a little bit tighter. The first one, this is circulation number one, uh, right near and just to the east of Blair. This is Highway 348 right here. And uh, highway, uh, this is, let's see, it's not plotting here, uh, but this is County Road 651. So if you uh, know anybody near Blair to Guntown and points north, right along highways 601, highways 833, 503, 833, 697, let them know there's a tornado warning storm coming their way. Also up here to the north of Jericho, look at this. We have another circulation. This is riding along Highway 174 in Union County and moving appro uh, approaching County Road 166 in Eastern Union. And there's Highway 30 uh, between Graham and Lebanon up here in Eastern Union and parts of Prentice County. Uh, so two distinct circulation centers right now on radar. These are Doppler radar indicated. Uh, not confirmed at this point, but we are monitoring uh, both of these circulation centers. And there's the updated scan. Let me clear this. Um, we still have a little bit of circulation going on just to the north of Guntown there, near Bethany as well. So here's the updated view. Uh, there's circulation one. Here's circulation two, uh, getting very close together here. So uh, will these produce a tornado at this point, an actual tornado that will touch the ground? Don't know yet. Uh, we are looking 
in the sky, in the atmosphere here. Uh, it looks like we may have something there in Jericho. Uh, Trevor, talk about that debris signature. Uh, or yes, possible so, debris signature. Right. We, we've showed this earlier, and basically what this is the radar looking at is uh, not the rain, but it's actually seeing if what it's looking at is the same. So where you see these darker colors, these pinks, these purples, these reds, it's looking out and it's saying, oh, okay, everything I'm seeing is rain. But where you see these lower values here in yellow, it's looking and it's seeing differently shaped objects. So what we can use this to judge is this very well could be debris being lofted up in the air. Obviously, when a tornado comes through, it picks up trees, roofs, all kind of stuff, and it gets thrown up into the atmosphere. Yeah, and Trevor, the, that one right there, did you skim that back and forth? We actually got a little um, blue there. Yeah, yeah, right in here. So scans. This is very likely right here in this area, just to the west of Jericho. It probably did something for yeah, sure. There is, this is likely that this was a tornado on the ground that produced damage and still could be on the ground. So use this to your benefit to tell you this is not just a tornado more Warning that you can set out. This is a confirmed radar tornado uh, that the radar is saying this is a tornado on the ground causing damage just to the west of the community of Jericho. So giving you a little idea of where this was, this was just a few minutes ago. Uh, this was right there, County Road 174, State Highway 370, again, just to the west of Jericho. And let me tell you where that is now. Uh, this area now just crossing into the southwestern portion of Prentiss County, south of Lebanon. That is the area that we're tracking that could be producing uh, tornado debris. It looks like it's maybe broadened out just a little bit. It might not still be on the ground, uh, but this area for sure, maybe even this area in northern Lee County, north of Guntown, uh, coming right now across Highway 45. That's another area that we're going to have to watch for the potential of uh, some spin-up tornadoes. No debris detected on that one, but uh, very safe to say that we likely just had a tornado occur uh, in the extreme eastern portion of Union County and the western portion of Prentice County as this storm continues to push off uh, to the east right there along Highway 45 and into uh, the rest of Northern Lee County and Prentice County. Keith? Yeah, the, the southern one um, may have done something a couple of scans ago. Um, at the same time, this could be um, where we had two particular um, things going on near Blair, uh, near Alpine, just a couple of scans ago. Uh, we are uh, just going to wait and see what comes out of that. But like Trevor was just mentioning, we have a couple of uh, circulations that have been moving through these areas. Sometimes uh, there's some, some beam issues there, but uh, uh, we had two circulations, and it looks like briefly we could have had two um, tornado debris signatures there up here in this area. Right now, the, the big cause for concern um, are these um, couplets, one of which is moving near Lebanon. Uh, this other one, which is moving right over at 45, uh, Baldwin, you need to be in your tornado shelter right now, uh, especially area south of Baldwin near County Road 2788. Uh, over towards Pratt. So just north of Guntown, um, just south of Baldwin, right here, uh, this is that other circulation right here. Okay. Like possibly. So let me, uh, Trevor, saying we have uh, some potential debris showing up on this. Let's go over to that. And uh, uh, that's what that could be right mm -hmm. here. Yeah, right in this area, I would say south of Baldwin, right along uh, Highway 145. This is right now, present time, the radar is possibly detecting the presence of some debris in the storm. And what we would look for to confirm this is to see if it matches up with the rotation. And as we switch over, you can see we've definitely got some spinning going on. So we're going to call this probably another radar confirmed tornado. This is in northern Lee County. This is going to pass right between the community of Pratt and Baldwin. If you're in this area, northern Lee County getting into the southern portion of Prentice County here in the next little bit. This could be another tornado spinning up right now. So please, please, please take your tornado uh, safety precautions if you're in this area. This one is going to be skimming the southern portion of Prentice County as it leaves Lee County. But keep in mind, we've had that other area of rotation that we've been keeping an eye on that likely just produced a tornado in northeastern Union County. It is now continuing and possibly a little closer to the more populated areas of Prentice County, possibly up towards Boonville and getting in toward the community of Frankstown. So right now we're going to keep a close eye on this one. Uh, but Keith's got some more info on what you need to do if you're under this tornado okay, warning right now. Okay, so if now. you were under this tornado warning in these areas here, uh, Trevor was just talking about the worst place to be is your car, a mobile home, a highway underpass. You just need to be in your shelter, a safe room, interior rooms, away from windows, in a well-built structure that is not a mobile home, a well-built structure or a basement, someplace below ground level. Ideally, that's the best place to be. Uh, so, again, just adhere to... 
our uh, um, strategy here of trying to get to the best place. And look at that. That is our debris signature here. Uh, confirmed tornado near Baldwin moving to the east at 50 miles per hour. So uh, this is it. Uh, this is a serious situation here in northeastern Prentice County. We have a confirmed tornado now on the ground. Uh, most likely uh, being detected is that debris right here in that blue. This is why uh, we show you this. It looks like a hot mess a lot of the time, but when we see this big blue dot and all of this red, that just means there are things in the sky that should not be in the sky. Objects from a tree, a house, what have you. Uh, we should be detecting raindrops and hailstones, not necessarily weird objects and that blue dot right here uh, that is uh, the tornado that is on the ground here uh, yeah. in this area just to the northeast of Guntown. Uh, and as we need as if we needed more indication law enforcement now reporting a tornado on the ground just coming through Guntown. So this debris signature the deeper blues are saying that the radar is really picking up stuff that shouldn't be there. So this is picking up branches leaves pieces of people's homes possibly unfortunately and this is right near the community of Pratt's coming into southern Prentice County so I cannot stress this enough if you are in southern Prentice County this is a tornado on the ground I know a lot of times you get these tornado warnings and you don't pay attention to them this is one you have got to pay attention to this is producing damage right now in northern Lee County coming into southern Prentice County if you're between Mariana and Al altitude uh, in the eastern portion of Prentice County be in your tornado safe place to be safe if you're in Prentice County be in your tornado safe place again the best place to be for this is going to be the lowest floor of the building you're currently in a basement is best but an interior room on the first floor will do just fine a bathroom, an interior closet, get away from windows. Uh, this could potentially be a serious situation with this confirmed tornado on the ground. And again, if you missed it, law enforcement confirmed this tornado in Guntown just a few moments ago in northern Lee County. And our radar is continuing to indicate just to the north and west of the community of Pratt's that this is a tornado doing damage, just getting ready to cross into the and, southern and, portion of Prentice County. Yeah, Trevor, as if we didn't already know there is a tornado there, which you clearly have. Uh, talked about. Uh, the BTI on this 6.9, uh, very, very high relative to what we typically see. Uh, this thing is moving to the northeast quickly, so downstream, uh, Hobo Station by 412. Uh, these areas that you see on the list here, maybe New Hope uh, up here, uh, altitude 419. We are looking at these areas that are possibly under the gun here as we go throughout the next couple of minutes. So, uh, and Keith, we're now getting reports of structural damage. Unfortunately, okay. this is um, Highway 45 and County Road 911. I assume that's going to be somewhere in here. A church completely destroyed. Okay. That was reported by law enforcement there, uh, and also more structural damage reported in the northern portion of Guntown. That storm now crossing. And into Prentice County. And with the structural damage you're just talking about there, Trevor, no doubt if something has been destroyed, which we don't want it to be destroyed, that debris is being l uh, lifted into the atmosphere. And that is why we have this big dark blue here showing on up um, in Prentice County moving through the Pratt's community. So I'm going to clear some of this stuff off the screen. And this is just uh, what we did not want to see today. Uh, tornado debris signature. Uh, well, looks like we've had some significant damage here in Prentice County. Let's go back to our velocity, and I would say that tornado is somewhere up here near Pratt's and maybe uh, into um, areas outside of Prentice County now. Uh, but downstream from Pratt's, we've got uh, Highway 370. This is Highway 366 up here uh, right now, and that is up here. In these areas, um, southeast of Boonville. So between Boonville and Pratt, somewhere up here, let's just say, um, let's just go down the, str the, the stream here and just say Hobo Station, Blythe Chapel, Marietta, these communities up here are under the gun. There's that circulation center right here. We still have it. The tornado warning continues until 4.15. Let's click on this little orange signature here. The BTI value 6.5. So yes, we're still tracking what looks to be um, some serious information, getting reports of some uh, semis being uh, blown off Highway 45 near Guntown per uh, National Weather Service in Memphis. Uh, medics in route, um, getting some information there. So it looks like we have some serious issues up here in Prentice County. Uh, so heads up at Hobo Station. This is coming your way by 412. Blythe Chapel, 
uh, by 414, uh, the Marietta community here uh, as well. So that's uh, basically uh, by 411. So these areas up here, you need to be in your tornado uh, safe zone. A serious situation developing here across uh, northeastern parts of Mississippi this afternoon. So let me turn some of these lines off here. And uh, here's uh, a bigger picture. Uh, Prentice County right here, we are just seeing the storm leave Lee County. Uh, so those of you in Prentice County, uh, again, uh, please use um, your judgment. Get into a safe zone ASAP if you live in Marietta, Hobo Station, Blyce Chapel. Now, it looks like this storm cell is going to stay uh, southeast of Boonville. And it is lifting well to the northeast of Tupelo right now. Uh, but again, it is just uh, a blue dot mixing with this red. And this is what we don't want to see as far as uh, radar imagery. You look at the radar, a big mass of red. Uh, let's go back in and check out our velocity here. And there is that tight little couplet, green and red together. Right here, just to the northeast of the Pratt's community. Uh, now slipping into Prentice County. So let's just say this is uh, right along Highway uh, or County Road 5230. Highway 362, County Road 5334 right here, Highway 336, or 366 rather. There's the updated scan. So it's heading right towards you in Blythe Chapel, Hills Chapel right here. Uh, there's Hobo Station. So this is coming your way. And just a heads up here uh, this afternoon, uh, this is coming your way ASAP. This is a serious situation. Uh, let's go back to our velocity product. And we're still looking at this green and red couplet right there, um, right near Highway 366, Highway County Road 5334, I do believe. Uh, that is at tornadic debris. Uh, that is a tornadic circulation, and we will co-locate it with the debris signature here. Let's go back to our correlation coefficient. Bam, right there. That's where it is. That's where it's been moving. So those of you here in Prentice County, Blyce Chapel, Hobo Station, uh, get into your safe zone right now. We know this is a uh, confirmed tornado situation. Most likely uh, still is a confirmed tornado warning situation. Um, we've got uh, reports of damage and some debris here. And this is all messed or mixed in with this big, huge, messy uh, radar equation we have across our area. Real quick, just to reset the situation here, We've got severe warm storms in North Mississippi. Uh, nothing yet in the Golden Triangle area. That will likely change later this evening. We have a whole host of storms back down to the southwest. So if you're wondering uh, why we are on your television here in Columbus, we saw some storms back to the west that goes all the way down into the Delta in Louisiana. Some of those could become severe later on. But we are most concerned, obviously, about this tornado warned storm now in Prentice County. And let's go back into our velocity. And there it is. We're still tracking it right here uh, near Hobo Station and Blyce Chapel, Marietta, right here. It's going right along uh, County Road 5051, State Highway 362, Highway 371, right here in Prentice County. A serious situation uh, developing across our region here on this Monday afternoon. Let me go ahead and toggle some additional information on. We're getting all of these areas of spin within this particular storm. And um, whenever these plot, these little cones plot, that means we have some low-level rotation going on. And obviously, that has been cause for concern this afternoon. So uh, just a, a big mess here with some of these um, uh, signatures that we're getting on radar. And we're still getting what looks to be um, some very strong wind that stretches um, down towards uh, Areas just uh, near Mantachi, uh, west of uh, Fulton, and areas southeast of Tupelo. So there's some very strong wind in this, too, uh, but obviously um, some very strong uh, radar signature, uh, at least as far as tornado potential and confirmed tornado debris signatures here. And we don't plot the TDS icon often, Trevor, but when we do, yep. that means we've had some damage. It is serious. And uh, as you mentioned, we've already gotten reports of that damage in Guntown. We have that 18-wheeler blown off Highway 45 with medics being called. So this is a very serious situation. And that same storm is still continuing through much of Prentice County. I know this radar looks like a mess, but here's what I want you to focus on. The time that it's going to be in your community. Don't let this be the time that you take shelter. Take shelter now, but just as a general idea, 
Blythe's Chapel, 414. New Hope, that's not our New Hope. New Hope uh, in up north, 418. Tishomingo, 426. Carter Branch by 430. And if it holds together, it could be into Burnstown just after 430. So again, that is not the New Hope in Lowndes County. That is the uh, New Hope up to the north in Prentice County that is being impacted uh, by this situation. So uh, again, BTI continues to be fairly high. Uh, right now at 6.5. That means a tornado is probably occurring if it had not occurred already and you see that tornado debris signature there let me get some of this mess off your screen here that little gray spinning circle you see here uh, this is a barren product that's basically showing us there is damage that has occurred here and we already know that it happened in Guntown could very well have some damage up to the extreme northeastern portion of Lee County again this tornado warning continues until 4:15. Uh, could possibly see an expansion of that into Tishomingo County just as a heads up not sure if that's going to happen yet but we'll of course keep you updated if it does but this tornado warning is going to go until at least 415 with damage already having occurred. Keith. Going back to the TDS icon, we don't plot it often. When we do, we know we've had some damage, and this is just a little bit of a swath. We had some of those reports in your gun town, like you just mentioned there, Trevor. Uh, but this particular product just shows where we've had uh, most likely some of that uh, layout with that uh, correlation coefficient. So from Guntown to Pratt's in northeastern Lee into parts of uh, southeastern Prentice County. Uh, this area here uh, from Pratt's to uh, west of Hobo Station, that's where we've had uh, some of that debris uh, detected here. So if there's still a tornado on the ground, most likely it's occurring somewhere near Blyce Chapel or Hobo Station, right along Highway uh, 4 and Highway 371, that junction right there in Prentice County. And this is about eight miles, nine miles south of Boonville up here, uh, just west of New Site. Uh, there's uh, these areas here that Trevor was just talking about. This is eastern part of uh, Prentice County. And again, the storm is moving off to the east at about 50 miles per hour. Now, on the, uh, the back side of this, we've had some gusty wind, some uh, very heavy rain, still pouring here in downtown Tupelo. You are now on the back side of this. It looks like uh, the worst of the weather is now done for you in Tupelo. This is a live view with our Alpha Insurance camera. Uh, still looking at the tornado warning that is continuing, uh, that will uh, continue uh, moving. Oh, it is. Okay. New That's going to be warning. expanded for okay. Itawamba, Prentice, Tishomingo until 445 as this storm continues to roll through. Uh, so this is now going to go anywhere from Iuka and uh, Interstate 22 all the way down to the south in Belmont. So basically the entirety of Tishomingo County now under a tornado warning as well as the eastern portion of Prentice County as this storm continues to roll through. Yeah, the uh, first tornado warning was set to expire at 415. That's 413. So now the National Weather Service in Memphis just extending this out all the way to the state line uh, again until 445 now. So uh, we have wind. We have uh, tornadic circulations here. We've had some confirmed damage. It looks like um, we are not looking at as deep of a blue dot here in Prentice County like we had a couple of scans ago. Um, but we still have what looks to be um, some circulation ongoing here near Hobo Station and Blyce Chapel and Hills Chapel. Uh, here in Prentice County, and that storm is moving over into Tishomingo County. So, uh, as Trevor just mentioned, just a heads up for you, um, let's just say Holcutt, Hayden, Tishomingo, Iuka. Uh, let's just do a, a storm track on this. And uh, this is moving to the northeast at about 50 miles per hour, more or less. And this would take it towards um, the Burton community by 423, Tishomingo by 429. And also Bishop by 436, Iuka by 439, way up here in Tishomingo County. I'll turn some of these lines off. But uh, those of you up here in Tishomingo County, just be aware we have a tornado uh, circulation here that has produced a tornado and some damage. That circulation center is moving to the northeast and it is likely going to hold its own here as it crosses over into Tishomingo County. So that warning has been extended until 445. So that circulation uh, right over Hobo Station right now. now. Let's go back to our shear rate here. We're still picking that up. Um, Hills Chapel, or uh, let's see, Hills Chapel, Blyce Chapel, Hobo Station, New Site, Burton, these areas up here in uh, Prentice County, uh, the, you're under the gun right now. Now, I should also mention uh, we've had some very strong wind uh, blowing out 
farther south, and this goes into parts of Itawamba County, Lee County, uh, this thing has been most likely producing, let's go to our velocity here, uh, it's a very strong wind too. Uh, maybe not as strong wind now as it had earlier, but we can still query some of these um, um, values up here aloft, and we can still see some very strong wind, maybe up to 60 miles per hour in some of this activity. So there's a lot of wind energy in the atmosphere here today, folks. Uh, the atmosphere has been very unstable. We've warmed into the 70s prior to the storm uh, arrival, and now we are looking at uh, some wind and some unstable air teaming up to produce um, some very uh, volatile weather here across North Mississippi. So let's go back to our um, relative velocity here and still looking at some um, broader type spin here in around Hills Chapel, Blythe Chapel, Hobo Station, New Site, New Hope uh, in uh, Prentice County. Uh, right along and south of Highway 364, here's Highway 371, and here's Highway 4 right here. So where all of those roads kind of converge up here in Prentice County, we've got some wind spinning around here today, and obviously we've had some significant problems here. So uh, that is why we are dealing with what we are dealing with, unfortunately, here. Uh, let's go back to our... Um, correlation coefficient, and I'm going to back this up a couple of scans, and you'll be able to see that uh, we had some very significant color there, that blue dot, that was just about 4 o'clock as this thing really ramped on up just near Guntown. Tornado Crossroad did damage, and looks like um, some of that debris could still be aloft here, but we may not have an actual tornado ongoing at this time. Um, just looking at some of this um, imagery here. So uh, we're still looking at some broad circulation here, uh, but not necessarily as tight as what it had been. So we'll come back in a little bit closer. New site, New Hope, uh, Prentice County, New Hope, uh, Hills Chapel, uh, Blythe Chapel, Hobo Station, uh, areas east and northeast. So I would say just looking at this right now, uh, we may want to see this. This thing could be uh, recycling just a little bit. Uh, so this area be near New Hope, uh, Burton, Prentice County, New Hope. We have Lowndes County, New Hope. So don't be confused here if you're watching on TV. Uh, this is northeast of Tupelo. Uh, these areas up here, uh, northeastern Prentice County, uh, this is probably the bullseye for maybe some additional development here. So we'll, we will continue to watch it. Again, the tornado warning goes until 445 here uh, this afternoon. And the storms are continuing to move to the north east into parts of northwestern Alabama. Um, we have additional storms that will be likely as we go throughout the course of the afternoon. So uh, let's go back in real quick. I'm going to send it over to you, Trevor, in just a split mm -hmm. second. Yep. And uh, let's go ahead and look at our, our shear rate product again. It's not as well defined as it was a couple of scans ago, but we're still depicting that up here across north Mississippi as this storm crosses over into uh, Tishomingo County. So. Um, that is the current lay of the land with that. Gusty winds now moving through Fulton, and that stretches all the way back down into southeastern Lee and northwestern parts of Monroe County. Trevor, uh, you go ahead and uh, just update us with something else there. Yeah, just a, a general overview. I know this is uh, the extreme northern portion of our area, and some folks watching in Columbus, Starkville, are like, what is going on? This is all the way to the north here. So I just wanted to kind of give you a lay of the land for folks that might be not under that tornado warning right now. But just as a reminder, there is a tornado warning in effect uh, for the eastern portion of Prentice County and a majority of Tishomingo County until 4.45 p.m. So south of that, we've got some heavy storms moving through the southern portion of Lee County. County right now and coming through Houston, north of Houston, up north toward Oklahoma. That's going to be coming across 45 alternate here in the next little bit, right there where 45 and the 45 alternate come together. Very heavy rain, possibly some hail occurring in that. South of that, some heavier stuff getting into Webster County now, coming in from Montgomery County from the west. We've got some heavier storms there. And let me zoom out for you and just to give you an idea of what we're looking at in the future, I'm going to have to switch over to the radar sites. But we've got all of this that we're going to have to contend with later on tonight. So do not think that the threat is over. All of us are still under a threat for severe weather. Columbus South, your threat is going to be coming later on in the next hour, if not later on this evening. But we've got this strong line of storms. And notice down to the south, that ticker might be in your way. So let me move this up just a little bit. We've got tornado warnings continuing down to the south along I-55. Brookhaven area under a tornado warning looks like a pretty staunch storm to the west of Hattiesburg. And more storms crossing the river from Natchez. So a monster system here anywhere from the Tennessee state line 
line all the way down into Texas, a huge storm system. And obviously, we still have the threat for severe weather in between these where some of that warm air uh, can interact with the moisture and uh, prompt these storms to pop up. But again, just as a reminder, uh, you're seeing it at the bottom of your screen right now, but tornado warning is going to continue uh, for Prentice County, Tishomingo County, and the extreme northern portion of Itawamba County. This is not going to include ICC, Fulton, any of that, but the extreme northern portion of uh, uh, Itawamba County and Tishomingo County until 445. Well, let's check in on the um, velocity here, and this is a look at the winds. And really, anywhere in this storm is kind of rotating. I would think the best area of rotation will be right in there. Uh, but we've got some more areas of rotation coming up on Highway 25 north of Belmont. So really, anywhere in Tishomingo County, you need to be in your tornado safe place right now uh, and definitely need to be inside. You don't want to be driving. You don't want to be outside. Um, even if you're not worried about the tornado in your specific location, some very, very heavy rain coming through, some gusty winds and possibly some hail. But once again, our main threat right now is going to be uh, the tornado warning that's going to go for the majority of Tishomingo County. And I think that threat for Prentice County is slowly but surely uh, coming to an end. That tornado warning likely will be uh, ending here shortly. Uh, but as this storm continues to push into Tishomingo County, that's where our focus heads to next. So anywhere in Tishomingo County, south of Interstate 22, you are included in this tornado warning until 4 45 as this area of rotation continues to push through. Keith? All right, yeah, I just want to show a couple of these storm reports here from the Guntown area. Again, uh, tornado warning uh, from the tornado warning storm that moved through the Guntown area earlier. Obviously, we had some damage reported. Uh, this is just one of those storm reports and also um, some very strong wind reported too with some of those uh, semi trucks being blown off Highway 45. So, those are some of the reports we've had earlier uh, with the storm. Storm looks to be a little bit more organized at this point here in uh, Tishomingo County. Uh, here's the 10 Tom waterway, and this is that uh, very strong wind and embedded rotation. We'll go back in and inspect this. So, as Trevor just mentioned, I think we're going to be home free for you in Prentice County here very, very soon. But this circulation uh, is still pretty broad. We also have this area uh, near Dennis. There's the updated scan. Um, there could be some circulation potential with that and also uh, with this area right along the trace near Neal. Um, so a couple of areas that we are watching out for here and also this batch up here east of Burton. Uh, we have some pixels side by side here. Uh, let's go back in and see, well that doesn't really go um, with our, um, that could be a little bit of noise right there. So let me just back out from that just a little bit. Um, We've got some noisy radar here. There's a couple of circulations we're watching. Um, one near Dennis, this one near Neil, and this could be a little bit of an artifact there uh, west of uh, Payton, east of Burton there. So uh, this area up here in Tishomingo County uh, continues to be watched. Uh, very hilly, very wooded terrain up here. Uh, you know it up here in Tishomingo County, so you may not be able to see this. There's also a lot of very um, high rain rate. There's uh, some very uh, intense rainfall, that's what I'm trying to say, out ahead of some of this. So you may not be able to see anything. If we get a tornado to drop, it could happen just like that. You won't be able to see it because out ahead of it we have some blinding rain, some vivid lightning, and embedded with all of this are a couple of circulations uh, that we are just continuing to watch. Let me go ahead and loop this for the last 30 minutes, and you'll be able to see uh, how this has been moving from southwest to northeast here. So. It looks like over the next 15 to 20, this will clear our area and slip in into uh, northwestern Alabama, and we will be done with this uh, very pronounced storm that's really been ongoing for the last couple of hours. We were watching it as it developed near Tallahatchie County, and it just blossomed as it moved just to the north of Water Valley, and now we are looking at um, some of this rotation here uh, between Burton and Neal in Tishomingo County. So uh, this right here looks to be uh, the primary driver of what we could still see uh, going forward. From a tornado debris uh, perspective, it looks like we've lost uh, a lot of that from what we had earlier today. Um, looks like there still could be a little bit. We'll have to come back in here and watch this. Let's see, near Payton. Um, let's watch this closely here. Um, somewhere here, uh, we'll watch to see if that tornado circulation 
uh, can tighten up just a little bit. So we're getting a little bit of a, a lowering here. That could be some noise or maybe some debris left over from earlier. Um, but something to uh, watch out for sure here in Tishomingo County. So again, tornado warning continues for Tishomingo until 445. It looks like uh, you're really good to go here in Prentice County and northern parts of Itawamba County. The worst of the weather is going to be up here in Tishomingo County at this point. And it looks like it's that blob right here, uh, right around Tishomingo. So uh, if you live up here, you may just want to hedge the bet and get into your safe zone ASAP if you haven't already done so, because this thing could uh, produce a tornado at any given time. We'll come back in and inspect a little bit tighter. Um, there's the updated scan right along County Road 112, just near Tishomingo. Uh, we're getting some of that green-red uh, convergence right there. So uh, there's definitely some spin going on in the atmosphere here. The question is, is this actually going to be reaching the ground? Uh, radar is sampling this at 3,000 feet above the surface. So it's not as high as some of our radar beams earlier in the day. Uh, but it's still a couple thousand feet up. We're detecting some of this rotation here today. So uh, just be forewarned if you are up, are up here in Tishomingo, um, Carter Branch, um, from let's just say the Natchez Trace Parkway north at this point looks to be where the most interesting signatures on radar are going to be. And there's some very hilly and wooded terrain up in here. So you probably won't be able to see much of anything until it gets right into uh, your backyard. Trevor? Yeah, the last thing you want to be doing is trying to go out and, and spot this. We don't need photos that bad. We don't need videos that bad. Nobody needs to see it. Uh, what you need to be focusing on if you're in that tornado warning is being in your safe place uh, and having a way to receive those weather alerts and continue to watching us live, or watching us live, I should say. Uh, I did want to mention we've got a report out of Randolph here, the Randolph community in the western portion of Pontotoc County. Uh, the emergency manager there is reporting some thunderstorm wind damage, uh, trees down, and structural damage uh, near Highway 9 and County. Road 174. So not sure if that's from a possible spin up tornado or just from some gusty winds, but some damage being reported there in the community of Randolph. I also wanted to mention, uh, even though this storm right now is not tornado warned south of Tupelo, this is a, a storm that's packing quite a punch. You see these purples and pinks showing up in here? That's somewhere we could definitely be seeing some hail. Uh, now you see that little bit of black showing up. So Oklahoma and North wouldn't be shocked to see some hail falling in here. Um, obviously, do not want to be outside uh, during any hail. You really shouldn't be outside uh, at this point at all. Let me switch you over to the hail swath, and you can see where this hail has continued. Those darker purples there, that is where hail is likely. So no tornado warning in effect for Oklahoma, but you could see some hail. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if areas north of Houston saw some hail earlier. And we've also got some very strong winds through this, as we've been talking about. Uh, this gradient here that came through Oklahoma, uh, these are the winds in the atmosphere. But the good news is, notice how it's all one color. When we look for tornadoes, we look for a little bit of green and a little bit of red right next to each other. That's in indicative of winds turning in the atmosphere. So the fact that this is all coming in one direction is a little bit better news. That's not to say uh, this could not cause some damage. Just to give you an idea, now keep in mind these winds speeds I'm about to show you are a little bit higher up, but uh, some of these could be translating down to the surface. Uh, this radar is picking up on about 70 miles an hour of wind just to the south and west of Oklahoma, 60 miles an hour to the north of that, and that is why that severe thunderstorm warning is in effect uh, for much of the northern portion of our area. So very strong storm coming right there along Highway 45, right where 45 alternate and 45 split uh, in southern Lee County. This is going to continue into the northern portion of Monroe County. You're under a severe thunderstorm warning morning right now and the southern portion of Tishomingo County or I should say Itawamba County you're also under this severe thunderstorm warning as this heavy storm uh, continues to push off to the north and the east. Keith. Now you should also note that just across the state line <clears throat> excuse me in the west Alabama they've extended the tornado warning until 515. Uh, there's actually a very um, interesting artifact near the area uh, just south of Tishomingo north of the trace <laughs> This is a little bit of noise, I think, but there's a circulation going on right here uh, that we really need to be concerned about. There's the updated scan. Uh, crossing Highway County Road 87. And Keith, I think we've got debris on okay, the let's, National Weather Service is saying that. Yeah, there's our new debris signature right here. So this is a confirmed tornado, uh, likely on the ground, coming through the community of Tishomingo, okay. uh, right there in that area, about to cross Highway 30. And there it is right here. So. Um, that little blotch of green and yellows will zoom on in just east of Tishomingo. 
Uh, this is right along Highway 30, and it's been moving through County Road 108. There's County Road 87. So uh, that is our tornado debris signature. Whenever we see something like this in our debris detector, Mixing with all that red, that is tornado debris. So let's go and check out the radar. That's where it's raining. This is where we have the circulation center, basically co-located with some of that debris. So we have a tornado that has touched down, could still be on the ground. It has lifted some debris. We are now looking at that in radar. That's what you see here. But we are looking at a very strong signature from the velocity perspective. And let's go to our shear rate. Bam, right here again. This is just uh, doing a great job here. County Road 87, County Road 108. It is smack dab exactly where uh, this thing is moving on through. So that's where it has been. Let me just give you a heads up here. If you live downstream, County Road 958 in the Carter Branch area, the Petertown area, uh, area is just to the west of Mingo along Highway 30 up here in Tishomingo County, uh, these areas, you need to be in your tornado safety zone now because we look to have what uh, appears to be a confirmed tornado with debris that has been lifted. Now moving to the northeast at, uh, let's see, this is moving to the northeast at what, about, um, these have been moving about 40, 50 miles per hour. So let me just go ahead and do a quick storm track on this. Um, boy, um, this is a serious, another, let's just say another serious situation. Uh, let's just lift it to the northeast. So this is going to take it across the state line towards Bishop, Alabama by 440, Burnstown, Alabama uh, by, by uh, 438. Uh, so this is quickly going to be lifting out of the WCBI TV coverage area once it crosses the state line and uh, it gets into Alabama. But this thing is the real deal right now. We'll come back in and uh, zoom back in to where we think we still may have a tornado on the ground or recently on the ground up here just west of Mingo, east of Tishomingo. Uh, this is our tornado debris signature. Um, all right, so we've got Jacob's live feed up. We'll take that in a quick second. I don't know where he's at right now, uh, but we're gonna continue with this because this is a confirmed tornado uh, situation here in Tishomingo County, and that is our tornado debris signature. Just south of Carter Branch, just west of Mingo in the last couple of minutes, let's go to our storm relative velocity. Uh, this is where we have some green and red pixels side by side. We are looking at where we have the most significant um, chance of rotation at this point. Our shear rate product not doing a, a tremendous job at this point per this uh, latest scan, but we're still picking up on some um, greens and some brighter greens showing where we have spinning wind in the atmosphere here today. So again, this is a, a, a dangerous situation. Tornado warning for Tishomingo County. Uh, this goes until 445. Uh, the storm is just about ready to cross the state line and it will be out of the official WCBI coverage area here uh, very, very soon. Let's go back in and show you where um, we still have some rotation being detected here near the Mingo area, Carter Branch, Petertown in Tishomingo County. And there is our tornado debris signature from the latest scan. So I'm just going to uh, um, scan back. If somebody can tell me where that um, signal is. Uh, okay. Um, I'll, we'll go to that in just a split second. But over the last couple of scans here, you can see um, how we got that tornado touchdown just south of Tishomingo and produce some damage most likely and that debris got lofted and now it's still there. And maybe the tornado, probably the tornado may be in a weakening phase, just looking at some of the, the radar imagery here. So uh, we still have some circulation here uh, near Carter Branch and Mingo. And uh, we've got storms all over the place here across North Mississippi, Central Mississippi, Southern Mississippi, uh, the northern part of our area, you will be out of the severe weather threat here uh, really over the next one to maybe hour and a half, one hour to hour and a half. The southern areas, Columbus, Starkville, West Point, and Point South, we're going to have a continuing threat for severe weather uh, through the early to mid-evening. All of this should be done by 9 o'clock, though, so that's certainly good news. This is not going to be an, an overnight event for us here. So let's go ahead and check out our uh, uh, shear, shear rate. Again, this rotation near um, Petertown, uh, Burnstown, right along the trace, eastern Tishomingo. Uh, this is the state line where you see those flashing lines right here. That is the Mississippi-Alabama 
uh, state line, which is right here. So this storm is now lifting to the uh, east of that state, uh, state line very, very soon. We'll come back in and check out our uh, shear rate and our CC. Uh, the debris signature is still there. Uh, it's moving right along the trace. So just a heads up for anybody uh, who knows anybody over here across the state line in the uh, Bishop area, the Burnstown area, right along the trace in northwestern Alabama. Uh, that's where we have the greatest amount of spin um, at this point. It is crossing the state line. Uh, let's take this feed from uh, Jacob Dickey. He's out in the Winona area, I do believe. Um, he's east of Winona. It looks like we have um, some law enforcement personnel out there, some traffic slowing on down. He's out and about intercepting some of this activity today. It's been rolling on into a region. So he's out across the western part of our area, and we will likely be sending um, him down to the south or southeast later on this, this evening when we see um, what develops across central Mississippi. But right now, uh, that is along Highway 82 uh, there and just east of Winona, I do believe, with some uh, traffic issues. So if you're going to be out and about this afternoon, uh, we do have some very heavy storms moving through. And these are rainfall producers, lightning producers, gusty wind producers. The strongest storms, though, north of where Jacob is at this point. So let's go back over to our radar imagery here and show you where we still have this tornado worn storm. Um, Moving across the state line, now it looks like it's basically at the state line. The uh, tornado warning is um, officially in effect until 445 for um, Tishomingo County. It looks like the worst of the weather now is going to be um, over here near Bishop, Alabama. There's Maud, Alabama, Minot, Mount Hester. If you know these areas, right along and near the trace across the state line, uh, that's where the worst of the weather is at this point. And I think Tishomingo County, I think um, just looking at the radar perspective here, we're about done with this as the storm cycles pretty fast back to the northeast towards Cherokee. And this is going to be a northwestern Alabama problem now as it moves probably close to just north of Muscle Shoals and Florence. So folks over there in the Tennessee River Valley will have to be uh, watching out for what goes on over there. Uh, but for us here in Tishomingo County, we're looking pretty good at this point as far as the radar trends. Now, as Trevor was mentioning, farther south, some very heavy, severe worn storms um, from Fulton to Amory to Oklahoma to Houston. Uh, that severe thunderstorm warning goes until 530. And we also have some additional rain and storms stretching back towards Winona. That's where Jacob was at in Montgomery County. Uh, there's some very heavy and wet weather out that way with lots and lots of lightning. Let me plot that. It may or may not plot, but it's out there. We do have a lot of lightning out there this afternoon, and that stretches all the way down across central and southern Mississippi. So uh, the National Weather Service in Memphis continues the tornado warning for uh, Tishomingo County um, until 445. Okay, so let's go back up there. We're going to stay with this uh, until the warning is done. Um, they've trimmed this back just a little bit. You know, from a uh, radar perspective, you know, I thought we were in good shape here with the uh, worst of... Um, the weather is shifting east, but there's still a little bit of rotation, maybe broad rotation here near the Oldham community along Highway 72. So the National Weather Service in uh, Memphis still keeping that warning in play, but really in general, we just don't really see a lot of uh, interesting weather or dangerous weather at this point now here in uh, central Tishomingo County. So uh, we'll continue to monitor this, but right now it looks like the worst of the weather is shifting over here into Alabama. But we're going to stay with this until 445, and we'll wait and see how this all plays out. So, again, we have that situation. We have um, no ongoing storms here in the Golden Triangle area. Let's do a little sky cam tour. We may have lost our Tupelo camera with some lightning and some uh, gusty wind earlier. Uh, this is live view in Louisville. We have not had a raindrop today. We've got some low clouds. We are looking southwest, Louisville, Mississippi, so we will be expecting to see something here uh, later on. Vernon, Alabama, much the same story. We are looking southwest. We have not had a lot of active weather today. It's been warm, very, very warm for this time of year. Low and mid-70s out there, if you can believe it. 
in downtown Columbus, we're looking west-southwest. Again, no major problems here across our area. So we don't really think Tishomingo County has any uh, more of a significant concern at this point. I do want to go down real quick, though. This will clear. Um, we'll take a little radar tour and go farther south down into central Mississippi and southwestern Mississippi where we actually do have some very strong storms moving out through. Maybe I'm going to have to force this back and back. Um, I may have lost my radar here, Trevor, so I'm going to have, have you a whole... Oh, there it goes. Okay, the suspense was killing me here. Okay, uh, let's go back to my radar here. I uh, don't know what happened there. Um, there we go. I want to take you on a quick radar tour across the uh, southern part of Mississippi and Alabama. I think I had all these storm reports turned on. We'll turn those off. Um, down here in southwestern Mississippi, we have a cluster of strong storms uh, from Jackson to Hattiesburg. There's one, two, three, four tornado warnings down here. These are these individual supercells uh, down here that are out ahead of the, the main batch. So these storms here are the more problematic ones. Those will be lifting to the northeast and likely uh, just miss our area. Likely. We'll be watching to see what happens with this batch of storms from Carroll County and this batch of Carroll County down into the southern delta and this other batch of storms west of Jackson. That would be the batch of storms that would be moving here into the Golden Triangle area later this evening. But as I mentioned, really between now about 8 or 9 o'clock, all of this stuff will move on through and we'll be home free after that. But the worst of the weather, I think in general, if we're going to get widespread tornadoes and warnings, will be these individual cells out ahead of the main line. So if we were to see that up here in the Golden Triangle area, you know, we would have a serious cause for concern later on tonight. So uh, we've got Joey Barnes, I think, that stepped on into the studio. We're going to try to get over to him uh, in just a split second with a couple of updates. Trevor, maybe I'll toss it back to you for uh, some of this damage you got. Yeah, we just got this sent in. This came in from Seth Davis, and he uh, saw some damage up in Calhoun County. This is at County Road 41 at Highway 8, and you can see just about all these trees have been plowed down. Now, the good news is, notice how all these trees are falling in the same direction. That's a good indication that this was just straight line winds as opposed to a tornado. Uh, if it was a tornado, you'd notice one tree laying this way, one tree laying this way. So this just looks like some very, very strong winds came through, and that uh, lines up with what is coming through the north portion of Lee County into northern Monroe County and into Itawamba County right now. These very strong winds gusting potentially up to 70 miles an hour at times. So just because you're not under a tornado warning, don't discount uh, those severe thunderstorm warnings because they can still cause damage. Remember, if you can, uh, if you see any damage and would like to send it into us safely, you can send it into us on our Facebook page, WCBI Weather, Instagram, or Twitter. You can also send it via email, weather at WCBI.com. We would love to pass along your reports and damage if you can do so safely. Of course, we don't once you get out in any mess uh, with that. Uh, I did want to let you know a lot of folks on the Facebook live stream. We are also streaming on Facebook in the event you lose power. We'll keep doing that through the evening if we have a tornado warning. A lot of folks are asking about Columbus and obviously for good reason. Here in Columbus, we're not seeing anything. All these storms have been off to the north, but all these storms down to the south are going to continue to move up in our direction. We've got tornado warnings to the south of Jackson, and as you can see, that would put it into our general direction. So if this will hang together, we're going to have to be watching very carefully for some strong storms that could produce damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes moving into the Golden Triangle and the rest of the WCBI viewing area as we get closer to 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and as late as 10 or 11 o'clock. Of course, that's when that tornado watch continues uh, for our West Alabama County. So very uh, potent storm system. We've got tornado warnings to the north, tornado warnings to the south. We're just in a little bit of a lull right here in Columbus, but we are going to continue to watch these storms as they filter up to the north. I believe Joey Barnes is ready now with some new information. Joey, what can you tell us? All right, uh, thanks a lot, Trevor. Uh, still getting uh, damage reports kind of trickling in a little bit. I know y'all have reported on the damage uh, there in Guntown, northern Lee County. Um, I have talked to with the Mississippi Highway Patrol. As far as they know, all um, all of the highways are still open at this time, um, and that is in the Guntown and Pratt's area, um, Gun the area of Guntown First Baptist Church. Uh, all that damage kind of centered around there. Also, um, lots of reports of uh, trees down in cars hydroplaning, according to the Mississippi Highway Patrol. And also in Prentice County, Sheriff Randy Toller 
uh, tells me that uh, there are um, some trees down in the south and southeast portions of the county around Baldwin and New Site. Uh, that's highways 366 and 371 east of Baldwin and New Site. So if that gives you uh, all any kind of general indication, of course, some power outages there. Reached out to folks in Tishomingo County, uh, but obviously uh, they, they've been kind of under the gun there and haven't gotten back with us, and we'll continue to follow up with them. Um, and as far as we know, no injuries reported at this time. All right, Joy, appreciate the information there. And uh, it's 445. <clears throat> the tornado warning has expired for Tishomingo County. So uh, for logistical concerns here at the station, we are coming up on WCBI News at 5 o'clock. At this point, we have no more tornado warnings, so uh, we should be prepared to uh, launch WCBI News at 5 o'clock on the scheduled time. So just letting everybody know back in the newsroom, back in Master Control, back in the control room, that uh, we should be in uh, good shape unless we get another tornado warning here across our area. So again, 445, the tornado warned storm has now crossed into Alabama. We have no tornado warnings for our counties in Mississippi. So. Uh, those of you on the floor here, if you can just guide us what we uh, need to do as far as we lead up to WCBI News at uh, 5 o'clock, uh, we'll uh, just uh, go with that. But until then, we'll just stay on the air here and let you know, uh, just as a uh, courtesy, we'll stay on the air here and let you know that we have a tornado watch that continues for the entire WCBI viewing area until 9 o'clock this evening for Mississippi. Uh, for West Alabama, that goes until 11. Uh, let's just say the severe weather threat is going to be done between now and mid-evening. So uh, probably by 8 or 9 o'clock, we should be in fairly good shape here as far as that weather is concerned. But we still have some very heavy storms now, uh, severe warm storms. Fulton, just west of Smithville, moving into Amory. They've already punched down through Tupelo, moving through Oklahoma and Houston right now. We will go in and sample. Uh, some of the velocity in this, and we can still see some very strong wind that could be 40 to 50 to 60 miles per hour here uh, across our area here. All right, so with that, you know, we will continue to monitor the situation and I'll let you guys know that we will have, uh, uh, let me go back here real quick. There's our radar situation. We'll continue to watch this. We'll have a full weather forecast for you coming up here on WCBI News at 5 in about 10 more minutes. Stay tuned for the latest. This has been a WCBI First Alert Severe Weather Update. Stay connected with the First Alert team online at WCBI.com, on social media, and on your mobile device with the WCBI News app.